A few people asked me how I created this tortoiseshell ombre look, and I've never created a video before, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Normally I sit on the ground, but I'm sitting at a table today. I'm using Eye of the Beholder for Icer Color. Since I'm making a staggered magnetic effect, I wanted to make a detail so I wouldn't have to worry about messing up the magnetization between different areas. I'm taping a magnet onto a back of a yogurt lid to just hold that in place as I paint. I would recommend doing two layers of paint and maybe giving it a full day to dry. I like to set it aside overnight. And then cleaning off the same design off of my finger so I could repaint the same design onto my finger. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm putting a smoothing base coat on. This is Cirque's Ridge Filling Base Coat. Oh, there's a little fuzzy, but I was able to hide it in the paint. And then using Eye of the Beholder to put down my base color. And I have my finger resting on top of this magnet. I'm putting it slightly closer to the base of my nail bed, so that way the magnetic pigment will kind of get pressed more towards the tip of the nail. You can kind of see it getting highlighted a little bit at the tip and it's a little glowy. I'm going in with now my second coat and you will see that I um, messed up right at this moment and cried a little bit. But luckily I was able to save it just by pushing it around a little bit. I probably should have just waited for the nail polish to dry quicker before going back in with my second coat, but I'm a problem solver. Ooh, pretty. Now I'm going in with my clear coat. I like to be a little heavy handed and I like to do this also with the magnet still under my nail so that way if the magnetic particles get loose then it will kind of help push everything back into place. Ooh, look at that shimmer. So now your forbidden bacon should be dry. I keep joking that it looks like bacon. Um, I like to try to peel it off starting usually with tweezers and then kind of peeling with my fingers a little bit, give me a little bit better control, not to worry about tearing it as much. I honestly should have waited a little bit longer, but again, I kind of was just excited to put this video together, so I was rushing a little bit. Ooh, it's so satisfying, so pretty. Now I'm going in and just cutting the end off of the strip so that way I could have a straight line to begin with. And then I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces. Uh, it's not necessary to have every single piece exactly perfect, but tortoiseshell nails are a little bit more organic in shape. So um, it doesn't, again, have to be perfect. I'm then going in and organizing mine all by length because I then like to use the smaller strips for my pinky and the bigger strips for my thumb. I'm wetting the nail just with water. I think it helps the decal stick. I'm then going into this wax tipped tool to grab the little strip and kind of picking it out and putting it on the nail. I'm starting with the center first to kind of build the other pieces off around. And then I'm kind of dragging it in place so that way the shiny bit or the highlight of the magnet is gonna be at the very base of the nail because remember we've done the shiny part at the tip of the nail earlier with your base color. And I'm going in and just repeating that with two other strips, one on each side. And as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit here. And that's why this is kind of a time consuming process with all the placement. I'm then going and tapping the base area where the line kind of touches the nail with some acetone to kind of help lock it in. It's easier to do this next part if it's just a little secure. I'm then gonna go in and trim off the tops. I wanted to do this at the base of the nail as well to reduce having to do as much cleanup of acetone, but I had ended up putting too much acetone at the cuticle and it basically adhered itself to my skin. So I'm now going in with acetone and trying to smooth out the tip of it and pressing it against the brush to kind of smooth it out. And then I'm going through the long process of cleaning up my mistake and I ended up using a cotton ball later to just tidy it up a little bit more but you're just gonna want to make sure if you did the same thing as me that you uh, put a lot of lotion on your hands later because they are going to be dry. I know you could use like silicone to put on your skin ahead of time to prep but I'm a chaotic person. I'm 
kind of in the home stretch now, just doing some final detail cleanup around the edges, just make it nice and clean looking. I know maybe in the shot, it does not look like much. And that's kind of what I thought while I was doing this too, but really a clear coat really helped pull this all together and help smooth things out. You're gonna see, I'm trying to wrap my tip just at a good measure and also to smooth out the tip of it as well, but I was not able to smooth it out as much as I would have liked. So I did kind of push it down with my finger and I forced it to work for me. And here's some better lighting to show what it looked like. And yeah, that's how you do it. it. Ended up taking me four hours to do both of my hands. So if you don't have time to commit like that, you should probably maybe consider only doing one nail with the tortoiseshell look and maybe painting the rest black. And again, this is my first video tutorial. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these. And yeah, see y'all later.